sorry to keep you waiting. Not that the passage of time has had any meaning for you, but elsewhere it is a different story. I've been contemplating how to explain what the world has become in your absence, and I have decided to simply show you. blink or you will miss it. Sometimes everything can change overnight. Forget the little things, like the taste of fresh air. But you remember, don't you, Mr. Freeman? It was no time at all for you. I think that covers just about everything. All that remains is to put you in the picture. All aboard, Mr. Freeman. Time waits for one man.
I'm gonna need me some privacy for this. Now. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. I'll meet up with you later.
Now come on, let's go. Hey Doc, Dr. Kleiner, look who's here. Blast that little, where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there. Doc, someone here to meet you. What is it, Barney? Another fugitive? You can't keep dragging in every stray you... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought that would get your attention. Is, is it really? I just... Gordon Freeman! I had given up hope. It is Gordon, isn't it? And why, why on earth did you bring him here, Barney? If they follow him here, my work is ruined. It's okay, Doc. Relax. So far, we haven't set off any alarms. Though, we should keep moving. Well... If you say so. But I really think this is most unwise. It could jeopardize not only Gordon's mission, but years of my research. Don't mind him, Gordon. We've all been on edge. I... I do apologize, Gordon. Of course, I'm delighted to see you. Absolutely delighted. You look a bit pale, but nothing like... <laughs> By God, Barney, they'll be scouring the city. Are you sure it's worth the risk? Just get him in his suit and I can get him off to Eli's. Eli's? But Dr. Mossman has been waiting for him. Oh, and how's that supposed to work exactly? I'll have to call her right away. I'm sure she'll think of something. I must say, it's unfortunate they couldn't have found a way to deliver you directly to Kraken Base. It's extremely secure. Eli's place is a hell of a lot closer. But I'm not taking Gordon out in his civvies. Excellent point. Yes, the sooner you're suited up, the better. Let's brush the dust off the old outfit, shall we? I expect you'll be pleased to see this after your hazardous journey. I can't vouch for the carbonation, but still there's a choice of diet or regular. Knock it off, Doc. I just thought Gordon might be a bit parched. You are an odd duck. Here we go. Yeah! Hey, get that thing away from me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst you might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. I don't know how you can stand to keep that thing around. After what it did to your partners... Lamar never hurt a fly. She was raised in captivity. <sighs> Here, my pet. Up, up, up. No, not up there. Damn it! Get it off me! No, no, those are quite fragile. Be careful, Lamar. Dear me. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Maybe I can convince her to stay longer. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. It's time to suit up, Gordon. Well, Gordon, I see you've slipped into your HEV suit. I've made a few adjustments, but still in all, it should be the suit you remember. Let's familiarize you with the basic functions, and we can be on our way. Now, over here you will see a collection of charging mechanisms. We have enabled the HEV suit to draw power from a variety of common combine charging systems using a standard UBC interface. This will allow you to avail yourself of the same devices utilized by the Metro Police and Combine Military. So always look for the Combine label. At any rate, power up your suit and we'll move on to health practices. Any one of these will power up your suit, Gordon. Just step in close and use the device. Go ahead and charge your suit, Gordon. Very good. Now, the same interface is often useful in treating injuries. If you come across a combine automatic like this one, you seem to be slightly fatigued. Why don't you go ahead and administer some healing agents as well? Go ahead, Gordon. Try out the automatic. That ought to make you feel much better. Okay, gang, time's a-wasting. 
I'm gonna need to send word out to Eli and smooth the way for Gordon to get out of town. I told you, Barney. I intend to solicit Dr. Mossman's advice. I doubt she'll approve of sending him into the wilderness as much as I agree he would be safer outside the city. Look, Doc, I don't tell you how to conduct your experiments, so don't you tell me how to run my operation. Ordinarily, I would agree. But Gordon is a special case. We can't just send him into the wilderness with a sharpened stick and our best wishes. He needs to go somewhere his education can be put to good use. Now, let's proceed, shall we? This way, Gordon. This should only take a moment. Mossman's just gonna tell you what I've been saying. Get him to Eli's place, and Eli can take it from there. Kleiner, is that you? Yes, uh, good morning, Elena. Did you call to chat, or is there some point to this? I'm running a critical sequence right now. Well, I think you'll agree this is critical as well. I'm standing here with my old protege, Gordon Freeman. Are you kidding me? Freeman? What's he doing there? Well, it's a bit of a mystery, actually. You're telling me he's in City 17? That's the worst place he could be. It was a surprise to me as well, I assure you. Tell her I'll smuggle him out to Eli's place. Uh, we were wondering if Eli's colony might not be the best place for him right now. As my man here points out, Your he has man. the advantage of being much more accessible than Kraken. Accessible? You mean vulnerable? They'll be crawling all over those rocks if the Combine gets wind of him? No, we need to get him down here where it's safe and I can put him to work. Eli's facilities are too primitive to make use of him. They're more suited to mechanics than research scientists. No, just port him over. I'll clear the receiver for the transmission. Port? As in teleport? Yes, is something wrong? I've run seven sequences without a single failure. The initial protocol you developed and then another I devised with the new specs. <laughs> Don't tell me of all people you aren't functional yet. Certainly not. I mean, I certainly am. What? Since you declined to reconsider your treatment of the boring old vector bundles, I've been operating under the assumption that you're far ahead of me. No, uh, everything here is in complete order. I, uh, I'd like to see your new protocol. Did you make use of my suggestions regarding Calibai Yao space? Uh, another time, Kleiner. Certainly. Barney, the rotor coils will need your attention, as before. You're not serious. Gordon, you heard Dr. Mossman. They can make immediate use of your expertise at Kraken Base, and this is the swiftest way of getting you there. But, Doc, the last time you tried this... I've made major strides since then, Barney. Major strides. Is there a problem? No, no problem. I'm telling you, we should be heading for Eli's. His teleport is still in pieces. You've got no way to get there except on foot. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Well, Gordon, since it appears Barney would rather call you a taxi cab than trust us in our area of expertise. All right, all right, Doc. But I gotta tell you, I've got a bad feeling about this. Gordon, if you'll be so good as to climb up and manipulate the crystal insertion device. I'm not sure if you've had much opportunity to take part in a real scientific enterprise in the last decade, so this ought to be rather nostalgic for you. One needn't be a licensed crane operator to manage it. We're not out of the woods yet. 
Now, if you'll climb down into the chamber, we can begin in earnest. I don't blame you for hesitating, but if we're gonna do this thing, then let's just get through it. Excellent. All set, Barney? Yeah, except for this gnawing certainty of doom. No, no, there's nothing to be nervous about. Let's see. A massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to CUI base, an LG Orbifold, the Hilbert inclusive. Barney, there's a little dial with a nameplate under it that says Yokawa. Can you please read me that number? Uh, 9973793.37. Are you writing this down? That's not necessary. Just checking for potential moduli interference in the interstices. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time to that poor cat. Let's not dwell on our mishaps, shall we? Initializing in three, two, one. <laughs> Climb out through there, and hurry! We sort of blew our cover. One moment. Is Lamar in there with you? For the last time, forget about that thing! She's helpless without me! Lamar? Hetty? Holy crap! Dr. Kleiner! <laughs> ah, Doc, you poor sap. Well, we're not gonna do anyone any good hanging around here. Let's get out before the roof caves in! Follow me. Looks like we're going the long way after all. 